Shalom, Makim. I want to get, uh, start off this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakah, Kwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Mill, starting peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Now, um, I'm going to start this lesson off by saying it's going to be entitled, There is no free will, everything is ordained. And I'm going to get the, get Job, the 33rd chapter, 14th verse. I'm going to start off the lesson. This is a real impromptu. I'm on break. Spirit just got on me, so I'm just going to go with it. <clears throat> this is Job 33 and 14. For Yahweh speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. That they that he may withdraw from man his purpose and hide pride from man. So that being said, Akim, go get in verse eighteen. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. So you know what I'm saying. There is no free will. The Lord, with the with the description in Job, the thirty third chapter, just basically said, was that the Lord, he bringeth. Uh, this is Job again. Job thirty three. And 15, in a dream and a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon me and it's slumbering. So that means when you sleep, when you in your deepest, uh, you know what I'm saying, when you sleep. Uh, then he opened, this is verse 16, then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instruction. So everything that we going to do today, like we might say, okay, I'm going to Kroger today, I'm going to Walmart, and I'm going to get me some new shoes. The most high might say, no, you're not. You know what I'm saying you're gonna go fellowship with this brother, then you're gonna meet a man, you know, who who gonna need your help moving his car, and you're gonna spend your time doing that today. So it, it's not up to us what we gonna do. And the Lord to have it to where what he basically saying is I'm selling the instruction while you sleep. I'm gonna make you take the steps to fulfill what I want. It's not about us, man. And there, you know what I'm saying, brothers that came into the truth, we might have been into whatever the hell we was into, playing ball, rapping, whatever, man. The Lord snatched us right the hell on up out of that. We might have thought that was our lot. We might have even been blessed to be uh, to be well known for, for whatever we came in, for, 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 whatever, for, what, for whatever reason, Akim. But the Lord decided, okay, you not that's not your lot. That's not your portion in this life. You are going to be a prophet. So as for the men of the Lord, like the scriptures say, the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. Even though we might want to do what the hell we want to do, or we might have thought, you know, before we came to the truth anyway, we might have thought, okay, man, this was for me. I'm going to be a rapper, man. I'm going to be a hooper. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Everything is preordained and we have no free will, man. So the next scripture I want to get is um, it's going to be... Proverbs 20 and 24. Yeah, because, like, you know, Jake, even when it comes to killing somebody, and I'm going to get that, I'm going to get a scripture for that. Jake might think that, you know, they the one that's pulling the strings and making the moves, and Jake get prideful as hell. So you might say, I'm going to kill this nigga today, man. I'm going to go on this block, and I'm going to catch him, and I'm going to kill him. You know what I'm saying? The Lord will have it to where he still at the instruction. To where you might be going to kill a motherfucker and you feel me you end up missing them shots and getting in charge with uh what they call a reckless discharge of a firearm or whatever you know what i'm saying the lord can have it to where you think you're gonna kill somebody and he'll spin that shit all around you know what i'm saying we as human beings make no decisions whatsoever you know we might plan something out or you know what i'm saying have an idea of what the most high want us to do but at the end of the day, man, we waiting on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah to give us the word, to give us the go on certain things. And you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, if you're a man of the Lord, you know that, you know, your everyday movements, everything you do is directed by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man. So even the things that come out of our mouth. So this is Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You know what I'm saying? So... We sitting up like, man, why do we might just like a, a regular day, Aki, and we might be like, why the fuck did I go this way? No one I was supposed to take this way to get to the grocery store. But like I said, the Lord might have wanted you to 
help a, a Jake that, that that car his car went out and he might have wanted you to take that different route to help that brother. And I'm just using that as an example, I can to, to, to um for edification's sake. This is a uh, Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So you might think you're gonna go to the grocery store that day, but your goings are of the Lord or of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side. So you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, like this, I just wanted to hit on the point that we have no free will. The next point I want to hit on is how uh how basically the issues of death belong to the heavenly father and how he uses the angels whether be whether it be right hand or left hand side angels to influence what he wants to go on here on earth you know what i'm saying uh like like you say thy will be done in, on, in heaven as it is on earth i mean not thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven so lucky like but you know so so the lord the lord gonna send his his angels to, to 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 make whatever he needs to go down down here go down and he gonna have them make us make the moves you know what i'm saying and like and i'm gonna get that i keep my hate to ramble man but it's just um i'm on a short time limit and uh you know how that is i can you want to get this lesson done you want to get the edification out there spirit you know this is uh this is i'm gonna, I'm gonna get um First Kings, the twenty-second chapter. I can. Had to look at my notes right quick, man. And this is a little impromptu, I can, you know, very impromptu. So, y'all bear with me, Baba Pasha. This is First Kings, the twenty-second chapter, and the nineteenth verse. And he's, this is the prophet Micaiah speaking to uh, King Jehoshaphat and King Ahab. You know what I'm saying? And he said, and this is uh, 1 Kings, the 22nd chapter, the 19th verse. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. What I say, the right hand, it can be either the right hand angels or the left hand angels that the Lord will send down here to make uh, to make what he needs to to, to basically put to, 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 to force his will because it's not about our will. That's what I meant to say. I can so lock you up for stumbling. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and this is verse 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne and all the host of heaven, the angels standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And, he, and one said on this manner, and another said on this manner, meaning the spirit, you know, the angels was like, Lord, I can do this, or I can do this. And uh, the Lord was just kind of like, eh, oh, you know, he was deciding who he wanted to go and for what, uh, and you know, for what, and in what manner he wanted them, them to go in. And then this is verse 21. And there came forth a lying spirit. Well, Salakia. And there, and there came forth a spirit and stood before Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. And Yahweh said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also, go forth and do so. Now, therefore, behold, Yahweh hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets, of all these thy prophets. And Yahweh hath spoken to you concerning thee. Now that being said, um, the prophet was warning uh, King Ahab, like, look, man, if you go up to Ramoth Gilead, I had a vision that there, the Lord was going to send a lying spirit to get in the mouth of your prophets and persuade you to go up. But the Lord ultimately, you know, it was for King Ahab to get slept, to, to die, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Not, not I guess it was. Because, you know, um, but like I'm saying, he had the prophet warn him. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, even though the Lord got the, got us one and two thirds, he know that ultimately they're not going to listen. But you're not going to say that the Lord didn't warn you. And you're not going to say that the prophet hath not been among you, like the scriptures say, man. So, um, Akiyam, the last scripture I want to get about how basically everything is ordained, you know what I'm saying? And how our goings are of the Lord, there is no free will. You don't decide whether you're going to come into the truth or not. And you don't decide whether you gonna, what you're going to be in this world. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
the, like the scriptures say, as far as concerning the truth, Yahweh Bahashin Yahweh Shah chose us. We didn't just wake up one day and decide that we were going to go into these scriptures and be prolific and be deep. You know what I'm saying? It didn't happen that way. So let me get my apocrypha and get 2nd Ezra, the third chapter. Check the time right quick. Five minutes, that'd be all right, though. Con, so this is uh, Second Ezra, the third chapter, and the sixteenth verse. Con, and unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee and put by Esau. And so Jacob became a great multitude, and it came to pass that when thou ledest his seed out of Egypt, thou broughtest him, broughtest them up to the Mount Sinai, Sinai. And bowing the heavens, thou didst set fast the earth, moved the whole world, and made us the depths to tremble and trouble us the men of that age. So like you, I'm gonna try to scan through it because I'm looking for a specific scripture. I can, that's, that's really, I could prove the point, you know what I'm saying? But I, I really, I'm, I'm upset, man. I should have uh, been more prepared for this. But basically, Esau and Jacob did no good or evil before the Lord chose Jacob. So that's predestination. Everything is ordained. Esau didn't have a choice whether he was going to be good or bad. You know what I'm saying? And I thought I was going to find a set description in second, as it's the third chapter, but I think it's, it, it, it's uh it's in second as I'm gonna get familiar with it. I can like I always say though, but um I'm gonna end this lesson off by um saying again all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.